Hello, this is Roland, Cisco Switzerland. Um, today I'm very excited to introduce you to the WebEx Room Bar. So this is our new room device, which is located in our portfolio somewhere between the RoomKit Mini and the normal RoomKit. It is a single bar device, which includes everything you wished for in the WebEx RoomKit Mini. And I would like to give you a quick overview on that today. I have a little box here I would like to quickly unpack together with you. So we have the device in here. Um, one of the highlights is also the packaging. So that's why I, I do the unpacking here with you. So we have in the box here itself, we have the device itself with all the necessary gear so we have the cables at the bottom and we have the device on top and if we remove the first part we have a second layer where we have the navigator inside we have all the mounting options inside um, we have the power supply and so on also shown only in one simple box here there we go let's have a closer look at the device itself the first exciting thing is this part here we have an external microphone we can connect now then the power okay not that exciting then we have two screen HDMI outputs so you can connect two screens to the device they make it a dual screen endpoint we have a HDMI input we have a USB-C input meaning you can basically have this is a dual input system so you can have two inputs running in sequence or at the same time actually it doesn't matter depends on the settings you have of course um, <clears throat> and we have a network input port and a poe network port for you to connect the navigator directly without requiring extra power sources so very exciting little endpoint which does everything uh, big endpoint would do as well. Features like people focus or speaker track are all included in this little device. So important also it's below seven centimeters. It's just like one kilogram of weight. So it fits very well on a screen as well. If you would like to use it as a webcam, for example. And again, it comes with all the details needed for mounting it above or below a screen oh yes also important detail so we have the cisco logo here shown here and um, if you mount it on top of a screen then the logo is the right way like this if you would like to mount it below a screen then the logo is upside down the device will recognize that it is upside down and the camera will will change but the logo you'll have to change with this speaker grill manually. So the logo is um, appropriate again. Okay, this much to the device itself. So this is how it looks like in awake mode. The screen is on and the navigator is on. Um, on the top left, we have just the basic settings of the device like the name and the telephone number so we see that there is also a telephone number assigned to this device and we can set to do not disturb and we have the tips so letting you know what you can do with this device you can change the layouts for example how these layouts look like what the options are and you have the main settings the control panel so with audio, you can basically just adjust the volume. What you can also do from the, from the main screen, 
uh, from the microphone you can go ahead and also test your microphone you have the option to loop uh, the recording so it uh, plays to you after you finish recording it or you can uh, not loop meaning you can start the recording um, say something and then after some time it will offer you to play back the recording here um, we also have the camera view the camera then turns on i have set the camera self view on the top left of the screen we do see that i can adjust the camera here so at the moment it is set to speaker track so it will um, focus on me the person speaking and present this person in a optimal fashion i can also go to best overview then it will make sure that all people in the room will be in the picture and i prefer speaker track though uh, and in the manual mode we can go and have a look how close you can zoom in to something on someone so it can in this case go pretty close to the person or to whatever element you decide to zoom into if that was the camera view and we have the option to put the device on standby device settings we have the usual things like the diagnostics speaker tracking diagnostics i can turn that on and i'll see in self mode that self view that it will um, calculate which part of me it should uh, present best um, same is true for people focus logging I have the WebEx Assistant showing you me the face recognition labels, Bluetooth. I can connect uh, my Bluetooth headset to the device directly. Um, I can change the screen resolution if I would like to. Pe people focus can be turned on and off and the Wi-Fi connection will be available, of course, as well. With this USB-C cable, I can use the device as a webcam as a speaker i can use the microphones on my laptop and i can use the screen connected as an external screen um, all of these things i can do with a windows laptop or with a mac um, the screen sharing i can also do from my ipad for example let me try to do this here so i connect my ipad and it will immediately show whatever I want to show on the screen here as well without installing a driver or anything else. Um, important detail. Okay, let's try to do a quick call with this device. I'll go ahead and dial my um, video endpoint, which I'm sitting in front of here as well. I say call the device, mute here answer immediately and mute on this end as well there we go so you see the the image quality on the device is quite good we also see the speaker tracking functionality of the device on this uh, screen over there now um, during the call we have additional options we still can change the microphone settings we can share our screen either USB-C, what we have here, we have a HDMI port as a second input. We have uh, also the opportunity to share via the web. That's an option as well. We can change the layouts. In this case, there is only one layout available for the time being because we only have one person in the call. Um, the self view we have here as well, we can set this to always on so we know what we are sending to the remote party or can also in here adjust, adjust the uh, overview participants we have here as well so let's see what happens when i uh, go back into the settings and turn on the speak tracking mode in the diagnostics speaker tracking so there we go so that's speaker tracking so we see the um, angle of the camera itself we can see that the um, system immediately matched me as a as a person 
and that it is selecting a certain part of the screen. This is the view from the remote site. So you'll see uh, what the remote site sees and that I thought it's quite important to show as well. Thank you very much for watching. I hope it helped. I hope it's going to be uh, as exciting for you as it was for me to lay my hands on this device to start playing around with. It's really uh, something I've been waiting for for quite some time and I hope it will help you to um, have better video experiences for you, your users and your customers. Thank you very much. Hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.